Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about oil. So we have seen a little bit of a turning point there. Um, that was expected. Oil has reached um, and I actually need to move this to the left here. This is our support area. Um, oil has reached the 61.8 retracement. I mean, I'm talking about Brent crude here right now. The idea is that we are um, in this one two setup. We discussed that in previous videos. A wave two to the downside should be an ABC structure. In the C wave, it would be ideal to get another wave four and a wave five. So I would have to adjust support. No, I don't have to adjust support. Did we really hit the absolute low in the last video? That would be quite funny. Um, probably did. So the idea was that in this third wave to the downside, okay, um, we could reach the area between <clears throat> the 1.236, 1.38 extension. So basically, yeah, around the $80 mark, we talked about that. I did highlight to you in the last video that this is probably a diagonal, the C wave to the downside. Therefore, the third wave ideal target is the 1.236 extension, 1.38, which I haven't activated uh, at the moment, but it's just, just below that basically at 78.96, which to be honest is exactly the area that was reached. So I'm very open to the idea that this wave four has started now, uh, which is between $83 and $85.40. So let's see if we get there. Um, this would be an ABC structure that will probably play out over the next week or so. If we see a break above $85.40, then I will have to assume the low was already in. So this is overall the area in which a turnaround should ideally happen and the start of a third wave rally higher. Um, it can be that we get one more low. This is currently my expectation because it would be the most probable setting scenario. Um, usually we would like to see another four or five here. Yeah. Um, however, the low could technically be in already. There are different ways how this can be counted, but then I would need evidence and I do get evidence with a break above standard resistance above $85 and 40 below $76. I will have to take a more bearish stance and we'll have to assume that we are resetting this larger degree wave too low, which at the moment presumably bottomed in May this year um, so at the moment i see the move down as corrective um, a bounce was due not overdue but it was due and uh, yeah resistance is highlighted on the chart and that is what i'm going to watch for next week do we get into this resistance area and if yes do we see a rejection at one of these fib levels 83 dollars 84 16 and 85 40 with a fifth wave to the downside to come let's take a look at wti as well very very similar story I actually did count for you in the last video five waves down here, as you can see, in wave C. So it's basically, we basically also technically were at the low and I actually already gave you the resistance area that was relevant. So um, it turned where it needed to turn. And we're now watching for this wave for pullback. Also here, the idea is that we are in an overall bullish scenario below $69. I have to take a more bearish perspective and would have to assume that this larger degree wave two will be reset lower. I would be um, in favor of another low um, deeper into the yellow support area. First of all, however, also here likely a corrective rally, ideally into the region between $79 and $81.60. I mean, it doesn't need to go to that level, but it would be likely. At least the 38.2 would be ideal. Um, if we get a break above 81.60, I have to assume that we're already in something more bullish, that possibly this wave two already bottomed because um, that would be too high for a reliable wave four with one more low to come. So that's for me a bit of a breakout point there. And if we see a break above resistance in five waves, which is followed by a three wave pullback, then that would be another setup for higher prices. Yeah, that's my update about... Um, oil i hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you are interested in daily updates about the s p 500 and also if you're interested in regular stocks updates check out our stocks and s p 500 service link is in the description we cover the s p as i said on a daily basis in video format and written format also intraday uh, when there are interesting developments and uh, yeah check it out link is in the description have a great weekend thank you very much Bye bye